Welcome back. I am here, the Reggie Mathis. I'm finally back. I was held prisoner and hostage. Um, no, 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 I wasn't. I, I had a great vacation, and then I was held prisoner and hostage by my job in Minneapolis. In the whitest <laughs> <laughs> prison camp. Yes. <laughs> I was held hostage, but I'm back now, and I'm glad I'm here to talk Walking Dead with some of my favorite people, some of my favorite men. <laughs> it's raining, man. <laughs> Hallelujah. Oh, yeah, it's raining. Hey, hey. Yes, so I'm back with the we the day. <laughs> the premier Walking Dead show. Yeah. And boy have I missed out on a whole bunch of stuff. We got a lot to talk about yes, tonight. Sir. We got a lot to talk about. We found out that there's helicopters. I've missed the helicopters. Yes. Sir. I've missed the, the zombie guts apparently make you sick. Gabriel is now sick. Right. Um, I miss Rick. For some reason, still thinks that he could talk business with the garbage patch kids. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. And and, and we were, I, I, we found out that John does John does John does. I'm thinking because I'm thinking she has to have John does. She has to have John does. <laughs> and scurvy. And scurvy <laughs> and tetanus and everything else. <laughs> I'm thinking, uh, I, we've seen that she paints naked on top of rusted metal. Mm -hmm. I don't get it. <laughs> she, we we got to hurry up and get to her, man. <laughs> I got nothing but commentary for her. Let's hurry up and get to her. With us, uh, I missed uh, they're communicating by letters. They're sending letters to e e e Microwaves? Yes. Yeah, so, um, we missed that. I um, um, <laughs> missed that Daryl and, and Tara are apparently out for revenge. They're the only ones that seem like they're really out for revenge because everybody else is kind of playing the fence. Um, oh, we've realized that Carl needs a friend. He's looking for a friend. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> so let's get to it. We'll talk about all these things and more, of yeah. course. Um, our first topic, I guess, is how did you guys like last week's episode, which was titled uh, The King, The, uh, the, with, widow, the widow, and Rick. And Rick. What was your thoughts, J. Cole? I hated it. You hated it? I would hated say it. this might have been the worst episode of the season. We just got to one of the best episodes, mm -hmm. and now mm -hmm. this was... This would have been the episode to talk about tuna melts. Like, <laughs> we could talk about tuna melts tonight. That's another thing that I missed. I missed... You missed the tuna melts. The tuna you milk conversation. <laughs> the struggle <laughs> is of all struggle meals. That is... My aunt, and I just tell a story of this, my aunt used to make tuna melts all the time and like i didn't think anything of it i was just like oh, okay it's, it's, she's fond of tuna and then i realized <laughs> i realized as i got older nah tuna is like the bottom barrel fish that's like that's like you go into when you have nothing else to fall back on mm -hmm. yeah. you grab the tuna yeah. and some people eat it right out the can out the, out the can <laughs> Ugh. And, <laughs> yeah. Oh, we got and, one that does. <laughs> but here's the thing, though. I don't think people realize how effing big tuna are. Yes. They're, and that's yes. why she, yes. they're, they're the yeah, size one fish, of dolphins. Fish, yes. yes, one fish. And half the tuna you guys are eating is actually dolphin. Yes. You people are eating porpoise and dolphin. <laughs> Y'all nasty. <Y> nasty. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, what were your thoughts, Ray, on, on last week's episode? You know, I... I could see where they were, you know, trying to go, mm -hmm. and, and we're always talking about world building, right? Yeah, yeah. And at this stage, we we keep running into this complaint, right? How much of the dirty woodland, uh, compacted trash, garbage pail, slick talking, yeah. bat walking, musty Jesus and Jerry and the the refugee kids, mm -hmm. do we have to endure, yeah. like? There is nothing else to establish. Yeah. And, and you know, like when you said, uh, oh, girl, the garbage pail kids, I was like, okay, what is y'all purpose? Like, what, if why, you're going to show them, do something yes. with them. And why do you all talk like Yoda? What is up with, like, everybody else. Come on, get to it, because I'm, I'm ready. Everybody else talks like normal human beings, but for some reason... They talk like like this is what ancient. I don't even know. Like they this talk is. like they don't have time <laughs> to finish complete <laughs> sentences because there's so much. There's to so do. much going on. Right. This is so much there's, going there's on. There's and nothing there. happening. You could literally actually do the opposite and lengthen the English language because yes. we got so much time right now. I. You know what I thought. I, the illusion for me is 
like this is the collection of artists. This is the artist colony. Mm. And they're so eccentric. Mm, okay. And they, you know what I mean? I, but here's here's something I want to post you. I just want to get to it right now. Okay. Uh, jaundice. Mm. How 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 is she the leader yeah. of how she? a group of people in the post apocalypse? Like yes. what has she done exactly. to get to these gain their respect? People? Yes. We know what Ezekiel has done. Yes. He's acted the part, he's played to people's yes. hope. Yeah, and inspiration. We know what Negan has done. Yes, <laughs> we know how he has yeah. got there. Definitely shown that. Yeah, we've seen Rick's progression and how he's got there. We've we've actually kind of seen Maggie's as well. Um, yeah, but I don't know how the hell Jandis Jandis has gotten there. How, how has she become? How? Maybe that's what we find out tonight. I don't know. I I want to know. I hope they show tonight how her Bob has remained <laughs> even. <laughs> Who's 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 the barber in there? Who's I mean who's even? The yes, who's the even that Bob is ain't no move. It don't move. It don't, it don't move. move. It don't move. She going. She doing all of this, and then ain't no is, move. Man, she is they weird got, as shit, fam. I'm I can't do it. Sure. <laughs> and it's wavy. It's like wavy number. What's the wavy weave? Number what? It ain't. It's just wavy. It's like wet and wave, deep wave. Mm -hmm. She got a short bob, deep wave. It is obnoxious. Yeah. And then her roots growing in, but yet and I, I can't do Janice. <laughs> well, I mean, so let's talk about Rick then. And pickle what, Rick? Yes. What, what, Rick got himself in a pickle. How's Rick going to get himself out of this pickle? He's got a banger. He's got, He's got, that's what I was thinking, right? She's got a crush on him. Yeah. She's got a crush That's on him. That's why she stripped him naked. She, yes. Mm -hmm. I don't care what nobody. She's weird. And she's gonna have like garbage pail sex with him. Yeah. <laughs> remember, remember when we was a kid? Cause I don't even know if they have anymore. We gotta bring the kids in here, and ask them. Remember when the garbage used to come, and they used to, used to hope that they would stop and compact the trash yeah. by your house. Yes. Yeah. And you used to be like, you ooh, I, you can see it. Do, do. You, I wonder, is is that the juices? <laughs> the juices. That, ooh, yuck. Ah. <laughs> yeah. Put that on your mentals. <laughs> it's on my mental now. <laughs> I, I'll tell you, I'll tell you how Rick's going to get out. Yeah. They have a plan. <laughs> they always, it always falls. We have a plan. <laughs> Stick to the plan. <laughs> it always falls back to the plan. Yeah, the plan. And, and, and again, Rick has, for some reason, in a, it's an inexplicable reason, decided to break from the group mm -hmm. to go talk to them. Um. If you're going to do this, I need to see the plan um, beforehand. Like, you need to talk this out. Because we seen the betrayal mm -hmm. last last season. It doesn't make any sense storytelling-wise to jump back into this season and you're going there alone to talk this out with them. And you thought that, well, I've got some pictures. And <laughs> <laughs> i got some Polaroids. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, hold on. Take yeah. out these Polaroids. What, and there's no context. There's no context. Right, he just... Right. Hey, <laughs> where did you about? listen? Listen, when all of this ended, it was the what year? Twenty what? Yeah, what 10? Was, yeah let's yeah, say twenty ten. Yeah, Nigga, ain't no more Polaroids in twenty ten. <laughs> Who's the? <laughs> Who found a working right. Polaroid and with then film. with film? film. With film. Look, man, with film. That's the I, thing. They had to go. Somebody had to go and grab. All, no, because Walgreens don't even have. They don't even That's have. What I'm say. Walgreens ain't even I got. Tell you wouldn't get that. <laughs> They on the they on the East Coast. Maybe nobody beats the Wiz. I don't know. <laughs> nobody beats the. Well played. Well played, there, well brother. Well played. Jacob, well played. All right. Well, let's talk about the King then. Um, he is in some depressing times. Mm -hmm. Jay Z. <laughs> Not, that oh, okay. Not that yeah. King. Oh, okay. Not that King. Okay. He came out okay. though. He did. Yeah. Came clean. Came clean. <laughs> And everybody forgave him for it. Oh, <laughs> well, Jay. Well, we already knew. We man. already knew. He put it on wax. She put it on wax. <laughs> fake right. news. Yeah. That's fake news. Fake news. That is. That's fake news. That is. You know what I'm interested in? And going off subject. Yeah, please. When is, uh, when is Beyonce going to give her tell off? Will she give a tell off? Because we know. I mean, y'all can come for me if y'all want to. It's at the Reggie Mathis. Y'all can come <laughs> for me. Up. But we up. know Beyonce cannot talk for more than five minutes without... Sounding like an idiot. Only thing I know <laughs> is that Sean <laughs> was tripping with Becky with the good hair. <laughs> and you're like, what is she what talking, is she talking about? about? Wait a minute, Matt, and you just stop talking. Where's Solange? 
Go get her go get her out here. <laughs> so why don't you get out here and translate <laughs> what this ignorant bitch just said. Oh, no, he didn't. Oh, no, Rainbow didn't. Don't you talk about no Beyonce. Don't you talk about Beyonce. I, Beyonce, been in, Beyonce been in the limelight for 20 years. 20 years. And she has not found one person that can work with her with her interviews. To allow her to be able to articulate a thought. How long has Jay been in? Yeah, but Jay is getting good just, now. He just, he just as, a, as a forty plus year old man, he's just a fifty now. year old man. <laughs> he just got good, man. Yeah. When everybody was white hot selecting rappers for movies, yeah. he was never he, selected. He, he knew not to even even when and they they produced their own uh, with uh, paper. What was it? Paper soldiers, and he knew not to put himself in. <laughs> <laughs> Because the streets was watching, <laughs> yeah. told us, hey, the lie detector determined that was a lie. No more than acting skills. Please stop. Don't all right, all right, all right. Back to Rick. <laughs> Let's get back to Rick. Um, oh, no, back to the king. Yeah, that's, exe- the king. that's where we're at. We're at the king. <laughs> hey, look, we're somewhere. We're somewhere. somewhere. The king, Ezekiel. So, how do you guys feel he is doing? How do you think he's going to come back? From the depression that seeing his his people die, he got him a good white woman. So he, he coming back. What? They will always bring you back. <laughs> oh, I'm glad I'm back. <laughs> to talk about the the important things in life. Finding you a good white woman now, because <laughs> they will bring you back to yes, life. <laughs> no, and I'm like, yeah. this is the softest, quietest I've ever. What do you think, Ray? <laughs> Can I be honest with you? Be honest. Hey, he He's said right. it. He said it. J. He, Cole he said, said it. it. But it's not for that reason. Listen, Carol, yeah. Carol has been his guiding force. Yeah. yeah. And he's avoiding her because he's ashamed that yeah. he didn't make good on what he wanted her to believe yeah. that yeah. he could do. Yeah. But she's like, I don't think I've been acting this whole time. This whole time. I've been yeah. playing. You've been playing. We still got work to do. Yeah. So I, I think that it's all on Carol's shoulder to, yeah. to dig him mm-hmm. up out of this funk. Uh, throw the white box at him. I mean, throw it at him. Hail Mary. Yeah. Woo! Daryl never took it. So Darryl it's, still, ne- yeah. oh, <laughs> man. it's still totally available. Man. I, but I, I actually like the way they're uh, progressing with Carol. Yeah. I was getting yeah. kind of tired of superhero Carol. They're actually showing emotion with Carol now. Yes. And um, mm-hmm. getting back to the kind of the root of how she got here. How did she, the, how, I mean, how she had to change. Can I be honest with you? Yeah. Their storyline is by far exactly. the best one. Exactly. Going. That interaction was great. Exactly. Them two and and I'm mad I was not here to talk about Ezekiel's episode where yeah. because that was to me that was the shining moment of this season so far yes ezekiel uh i don't know the actor's name you guys can at me whatever yeah. um but his acting in that in episode five that that sealed it for me i was like oh, okay yeah he even with the fake wig and the, the yeah. nonsense that's going on on his head yeah, yeah. I, I, I looked over it yeah i looked over it. i looked over <laughs> like when you like i, I tell people yeah. when i get swept away when you yeah. can sweep me away i'm like that's good yeah yeah. If you can, you know, make me forget that all of that's going on. Yeah. And he did that. He now, did that. And I was yeah. like, oh man, this is yeah. good. I, in the first uh, episode that I, I co I hosted, yeah. when you were gone, I asked an uh, episode you would want to see with just two people. Mm-hmm. That would be exactly my, my pick right now. Yeah. They they have the best chemistry, um, and and quite quite frankly, they have the, the only two storylines that I'm trying to even <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> that I'm trying to even follow right now. And right now, anyway. Um, but what do you guys think about the kid? Um, Carol seems to be taking a liking to him. She's taking him with her. Um, do you think that possibly he's going to be the new Carl? That's what I think. So here, here's part of her development. It's mm-hmm. like you got weak, abused Carol. Mm-hmm. You got superhero Carol. Mm-hmm. I don't, and then oh, and then you got the I don't want to deal with anybody. I'm tired of all the killing Carol. Yep. Right? She's gone through all. So this is like the amalgam of all of them. Well, yeah, I mean, she's learned with that those girls that she had to be real tough on, yep. and then she had to kill them. Well, even when she was in the prison, how she had to teach the kids. Yes. Yeah. And and, and she, even though Rick didn't know about it, but she was teaching them. Yeah. Not just nursery rhymes. She was teaching yeah. them how to kill. Life fight. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so you see, you do see with Carol's progression of mother, the motherly instincts and knowing that if you're gonna live in this world. Mm-hmm. You gotta, uh, you gotta learn how to shoot a gun, how to how to handle yourself. Yeah, so she'll be able to teach him do that without the 
kill or yeah. there's no hope. Yeah, you know? exactly, exactly. Well, I mean, what do you guys think about the widow, Maggie? Everything that's going on in the hilltop. How do you like Maggie's progression? I well, Maggie's progression is probably the most honest progression mm-hmm. of a character that has had a natural story arc of um, action, reaction, mm-hmm. uh, consequence, repercussions. And, you know what mm-hmm. I mean? She was here. This man killed her husband. Cold blood. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So she's like, oh, yeah. Like, it just makes sense. Hers is the one storyline that makes most sense. And then I would say it's Daryl. Mm-hmm. They captured him. They yes. put him in jail. Mm-hmm. You know? So Maggie's is like, I'm like, okay, let's see how far this goes mm-hmm. and what type of validation, vindication um, mm, does she get, from, does she get mm-hmm. from this, you know, moving forward? Well, in saying that, J. Cole, mm-hmm. how do you feel about her listening to Jesus and keeping mm. the saviors Fucking as nigga. prisoners? You don't listen oh. to that nigga. You don't listen <laughs> to Jesus. Well, <laughs> listen but to I, I, I'm going to tell you what. I'm glad that she is at this moment. Okay. Because one of the best points that Negan has, whether you for him or against him, people are, are the res- best resource. I miss that like, as well. If yeah. you kill, that's what they got like 30, 40. You're killing that many yeah. people. Yeah. That you're you losing are a lot of money down the drain. Exactly. Exactly. You're losing bargaining chips. Using yes. after this is all assets. over. Assets. You yeah. got yeah. You got workers. You got yeah. guards. You know yeah. these people. They how loyal are they really? Yeah. They're loyal to the person that's gonna keep them alive. Well, <coughs> question then. Yeah. We see Gregory got thrown into the the the, the prison, <laughs> mm-hmm. the makeshift prison. Do you think that he's gonna lead a revolt at all? Do you think him think, and the, the, the weirdos? Yeah, say I think I, I don't think he's going to lead it. I think he's going to participate. Participate in the room. And I think that it's going to mm-hmm. be like, see, I told you I should have killed him. Mm-hmm. You, you know what I mean? Like mm-hmm. Maggie, like the one thing is Maggie's going to offer yes. mm-hmm. And Jesus, it's going to be really messed up because Jesus is like early Rick. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. He's a lot like yeah. early Rick. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And Maggie's going to be like, you, you ready to listen now? Yeah. You ready to play ball now? Like. The way that uh, what's his name? Uh, uh, Blackie makes stab stab uh, Taoist. I don't want to. I just Morgan. Wanna push Morgan. Morgan. Yeah. Morgan. Yeah. <laughs> Black <laughs> Taoist. Right. Yes. Uh, yes. No. No. <laughs> my Katra will move the walkers to a higher to plane. another higher plane. Nigga, shoot this motherfucker in the fucking head. Man, stop talking that yin yang. And I think he's gonna have to come to that time. Yeah. Like, bruh. The world is the world is literally dead. Yeah, let it go, bro. And, but that's interesting with Jesus not being there since mm-hmm. Jesus has been one of the ones that has kind of went on his own. He's yeah. been able to bark and see everything. Yeah, how come he doesn't know that? Like, there's some people that's just not redeemable. Yeah, but he, yeah, he he has seen the most. But maybe that's just. It's nature. It's like, nature. I've seen this, so I know let's not go in that direction. Okay. It'd be better overall if we go in this direction. He's a, a forward thinker. I would have uh, off Gregory for sure. Definitely. G- Greg would have off. Yeah. Greg <laughs> would have off. He should have been dead like seven times. Yeah, I, I would have off Gregory. Hey, look at the flowers. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> Don't even give him a no, chance. No, <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Mich- uh, Michonne and Rosita. Um, Can all I right. say real quick? Go ahead. Before anything... I forgot Rosita was still alive. I did too. I did, and this is my. I was like, wait, wait, wait she, you? Oh yeah. Because she got shot. There's, and again, it's a gripe of mine. Michonne can barely stand. Mm-hmm. Rick got shot, and got grazed. Rosita got shot. They are fine, and they, I mean, we we understand that this is only a few days after season seven, mm-hmm. and Michonne still can't walk. Mm-hmm. It's pissing me the fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> It just, I'm just being frank, because you can't, stay your ass at home then. If you can't, yes. if you can't breathe, mm-hmm. stay your ass at the crib. Mm-hmm. We got business to take care of. I want to say this, though. I literally, I was doing a little re-watching uh, to catch up, and I was like, wait a minute. Why is everybody healed so miraculously? Yes. Like, ain't no antibiotics, ain't no doctors. Ain't, ain't none of that. Like, Rick's hands you should don't... not, like, all the fights he's been in. They should be inoperable. They Not should be proper nutrition. There ain't no way. Nobody, nobody's so getting proper how nutrition. How is it that you we got to nutrition? Yes. <laughs> nutrition. Yes. 
Both of you. It's not just you. You're not eating right. You're not. It's part of the healing process. <laughs> it is. <laughs> now, they have no alkaline water. <laughs> exactly. They're not eating green leafy vegetables. <laughs> How, Ray? How? <laughs> I've only seen it done one way. <laughs> I've made my own chicken. gardens, Ray. <laughs> Hell, Ray. You don't have all the answers, Ray. <laughs> now, what do y'all think about... <laughs> oh, we have uh, peanut gallery yeah. comments. <laughs> what do y'all think about Rosita wasting the RPG or on one of the... <laughs> it was... Listen, can I say this? It was funny up top. <laughs> Like you laugh, like yeah. because it was like an action movie scene. It was it like was, a, a B movie. Action. It was like you know, I, <laughs> legit. I, I I laughed because I was like, this is like that the edit. Yeah. The edit. The edit was something I did in in high school. Yes, I was like, this is is this like Ninja Six the tribulation? Like what the he hell? He was is just this? there. Then he did one he, frame there, one frame. If you did frame, you would have seen the moment they switched him out. I was like, what is, it was funny, and then you go, wait, you did that for what? Like, and then you just get pissed off. All yes, because I'm thinking, okay, so did y'all waste all of it? Are we going to bomb the, the sanctuary with the RPGs that we just found? Or are we just going to blow up fucking one by one? One, one. By, one, <laughs> one <yeah>. by one. <laughs> Why not? <sighs> I, I don't know what their mission was in the I didn't place. get it. I did. It, it seemed like, well, we need to give them something to do. So let's just send them on a trip, and they miraculously found with our with our the, our, our our group has been looking and scouting for for weeks, mm -hmm. but Michonne and Rosita just drive out and find it and her music. <laughs> yeah, with her music, and find where the, the the station is. Doesn't make any sense. I was hoping somebody made a comment to help us out with that because I <laughs> nobody's helping yeah, us out with the nobody help us out with well, that. We'll get y'all too then. <laughs> <laughs> Lurkers. Yeah, lurkers. Yeah, lurkers. <laughs> we see you, Rich. We see you. <laughs> With your own show. <laughs> With your own show. Mm -hmm. Well, let's talk about Daryl, Terrell, and Carl. Um, how do you guys feel about the, all the three of their progressions as far as character arcs? Well, Carl, I, I don't know where he's going because he's kind of going back and forth, right? Because mm -hmm. like we, we just talked about him. And it's weird. There was no preemptive of us getting to where Carl is. Yes. We've seen Carl and he has been cold blooded killers. Yes. And now all of a sudden Carl is is caring for yeah. like we need to say what, what was the yeah, what was the Okay sh shock him back into, into So let me say this. Are we to believe that his time with Negan mm. and how And that's you know like no take it off like God dang boy Yo, I looks like hell, you know, and shown no compassion, kept him alive. Yeah. Then he watched him put the face in, um, in uh, oh boy. I think if we're going to ask what it was, I think that was the turning mm. point for him. Like, yo, this is all wrong. Like, I have been approaching this mm, the wrong way. The wrong way. Mm. Yes, yes. I, I, you got to. I just have one little comment. Someone yeah. said on Facebook Live, Lily Hill, y'all clowning today. Okay. Thank you, Lily. Thanks, Lily. <laughs> Just so you know, appreciate it. <laughs> appreciate any love that we get out in the the internets. <laughs> and Tony is watching. Okay. I, uh, Thank you, Tony. <laughs> on, on that note, I, I agree. But then, since we hop back and forth between so many people, it's hard. We didn't to, get to directly exactly. correlate. That. Yeah, so, it's hard to yeah. to pick that up. Yeah. Yes. Well, what do you think about Carl bringing Negan's spy? One of Negan's spies back to uh, um, Alexandria. How is that going to play out? Is that what this guy is? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Is that See, what that kind of tell. Is that what? <laughs> yeah, he was what well, he was helping out with. Mm -hmm. Pretty dumb. It's pretty dumb, right? Yeah, it's so pretty dumb. Yeah. What, right. what are we getting from that? Where, where, where are we going to go from there? I don't understand. I don't. I don't know. Well, it, it's definitely going to be. A, like, cause we see that there's like, oh, Rick and them have the upper hand. Yeah. And, you know what I mean? If they've done this, they've done it. It would be too anticlimactic if, if they, go they just have. The, and I think this is going to show like, like what we just saw mm -hmm. when you, you know how writing works and yeah. you know how writing works. Mm -hmm. So I think thematically. 
that we like, oh man, they got him on the ropes. Mm -hmm. And we just saw Negan and uh, Preacher make uh, Pray Pray. He um, got out of there and yeah. it was like, it's Negan. Then he's like, well, 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 well. And he showed up and it was like, praise Negan. Yeah. Yeah. You know, like, yeah. I mean, and yeah. I think that this was going to happen with him. Like, did you all think it was going to be, be this? That yeah, easy? yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, and I think that well, Rick's confidence. I'm still, his confidence is too high. That's why I'm still rolling with Carl dies next week yeah. in the midseason finale. I'm still rolling with that. Yeah. It's just everything that they're doing right now is playing too. We know, and that brings me to my next point. We know Morgan is uh, just from his reveal at the Talking Dead last week. He's pretty much gone. Mm -hmm. uh, are we thinking that he's dying for uh, next week's episode or, or what? How do how are they going to write him off? Well, is he dying? Because isn't he going to show up on, uh, on Fear the Walking Dead? Fear the Walking Dead, but Fear the Walking Dead is prior. prior. So, is it? Yeah. Because he was in Atlanta at the beginning of it all. Yeah. So, Fear the Walking Dead leads up to right. the Walking Dead. So him going back to Fear is really just him hopping back to who he was before. Yeah, but they're in yeah, Mexico. Yeah. How, the, how they going to... Yeah, I think from here he leaves. I think they're going to try and tie it in. So you think they're going to jump, skip, well, uh, Fear... Well, they've skipped. <laughs> I skip mean, Fear the Walking Dead. Episode, what, four of the first season and the apocalypse had already come and gone. Like, yeah. it was... We were there like that. We were so. there. <laughs> so... I, I hope they don't rush it like that. Mm -hmm. I hope they allow for some growth and bringing in old characters. Right. But maybe they do. Maybe they just say, you know what? Maybe the fear cast is the whispers. They become the whispers, and then they make it one big giant. I was thinking they're the ones in the helicopter. They're the ones in the uh. mm. That's what I was thinking. Okay. I was thinking they're the ones in the Something to do with Wait, 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 wait. They got helicopters. Yeah. Can nobody hear fucking helicopters? Yes. Flying. Now, okay, so I wanted to. I, miles and miles. I literally saved this because I was going to text you. But I was like, no, I'm going to save this. Remember we went to uh, White World? Yeah. And it had no stoplights? Yeah. And we was like, you, it was like being in a vacuum, right? And I was like, you can hear everything. I heard an insect yes, flying yes. from like two miles away. You could hear everything yes. before we almost yes. got lynched. Yeah. Remember before, when we almost got yeah. lynched? Before they almost led us out to pasture. Yeah, and like, <laughs> oh, I didn't tell you to go that way. <laughs> yeah, you did. Yeah, you did. Yeah, you did. <laughs> and I was going to have to be like, man, look at the flowers. <laughs> <laughs> no, ah, flowers. Ah, ah, ah. But you could... When there's nothing going on, when there's no industry, right. when there's no cars, you can hear everything. You can hear, and they all would have been able to hear that helicopter for at miles. least 10 miles out. You would have been able to hear. Everybody should have stopped, and we should have had a whole scene of everybody with looking, everybody yes. looking around like, what is that? And yes. Rick being the only one That's to awesome. have seen it. But then, even then, like wherever he is, where his approximation was, everybody should have seen it. Well, apparently, they're all the approximation of uh, is, is within a couple of miles, because they're getting back and forth too fast for my liking. Oh, like uh, the dragons? <laughs> exactly, and... exactly like that. <laughs> Who's name me that stupid show that you like? Game of Thrones. Yeah, with well, all the incest. <laughs> Finger well, popping your My producer is telling me we're almost wrapping up, but we're yeah. almost finished. Um, so let's get to our predictions for this tonight's episode, which is titled uh, "Time for After." Uh, what do you guys think is going on tonight? Jayco, any I thoughts? Can't you can't call it. Keep up, man. Like they. They jump around. I don't know, man. I, I was know. thinking about this all today, and I was, I'm at a loss. I think Eugene may, he may snitch and, and, and kind of uh, snitch on Dwight. Mm -hmm. I think that may happen, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure what's going on. I don't know what's going on with Gabriel. Father Gabriel, is he, is he going to make it? Is he alive? Is he? He's some, alive. They I'm, are trying to make this as, you know, smart mark proof as possible, yeah. man. And it's to a point where you can't even get to the medicine right. to save your life, trying to stop dumbass kids from getting it, thinking it's <laughs> yes. candy, and killing and themselves <laughs> underneath the bathroom counter. And now you got to explain to the cops that your little dumbass kid is stupid. You're not negligible. You really got to convince a jury of your peers, like, I'm not negligent. They were just they were stupid, so stupid as hell. <laughs> Let me go home back to my job. I got a whole other kid I got to take care of. 
his ass is probably dead because he's just as stupid as this stupid motherfucker. Well, <laughs> and with that, <laughs> and with that, I think we're going to go ahead and wrap up tonight's episode. <laughs> I want to thank everybody for joining us again. I mean, we had a hell of a lot of fun. Yeah. <laughs> it's oh, yeah. Been, yeah. I missed it, but I'm glad I'm back. Uh, now, go ahead and join The Walking Dead. Watch it. Digest it. It's probably going to be good, I guess. <laughs> but one final thought. Um, we do now know that even in a zombie apocalypse, you don't touch fucking tuna melt sandwiches. Thank you. Good night. <laughs>